6-11 matchup in the East region. Providence and North Carolina. Friars head coach Ed Cooley taking Providence back to the dance for the first time in a decade. Thanks in large part to this man, Bryce Cotton, averaging over 21 a game. Knocks down a three early on. But Marcus Page leading the Tar Heels at over 17 a game. He comes right back with a three of his own. Meanwhile, the Tar Heels creating turnover. J.P. Tokato with the steal. Look at him pirouetting in the paint in transition for the throw down. Tokato, athleticism oozing from his pores all season long. Highlight dunks of plenty for the Tar Heel. But Providence cutting into the deficit before the half. Bryce Cotton had 13 in the opening half. Tar Heels lent 39-36 at intermission. And UNC would go on a 6-0 run. James Michael McAdoo with the slam off the feed for Marcus Page. This portion of the highlight, though, brought to you by Bryce Cotton as he kept the Friars in the contest in the second half. He was three for nine from beyond the arc. Also dipping and doing into the paint for the lay-in. Another spin move. Floater is good as well. Now in a tie ball game, just over eight to play. Cotton gets into the paint again to give Providence a two-point lead. Here, North Carolina grabbing the rebound. Long outlet. Cotton tiptoeing the sidelines to come down with the steal. And look at the step back. With a hand in his face, knocks it down. 66-62 Friars. More from Tokido. And the spin move, this time off the window, gets the roll. He had 10, one of five Tar Heels in double figures. Cotton now with a steal, giving Providence a three-point lead. He had 36 points, five rebounds, and eight assists. He and Hersey Hawkins, the only players in tournament history to have a 35-5-5 and five box score. Page ties it at 77. He led... UNC with 19. Kadeem Batch driving and missing. UNC would get the rebound and a chance to win the game up off the window. Bryce Johnson missing. McAdoo grabs the rebound and is fouled with three and a half to go. He'd go to the line. 53% on the year. Silky smooth on the first. One point lead for Carolina. The second one he misses. And Carolina has not shot free throws well all season, but one thing they can do is rebound. McAdoo gets his own miss, and Carolina wins by two. Roy Williams, 24-0 in round of 64 games.